This is the mountain of knowledge. Only some have it. How much knowledge do you have? So there's a gaping <laughs> hole in the middle I'm here. Green. You're red. Welcome back. That's what we're going to go with. We're going with that. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're meant to be posting every fortnight, but it ain't happening because let's we're be trying. honest. We're trying. We're trying. This we're trying. Is, this is little... a video on the workshop and what we're getting up to. Yep. Not only that, this is more a video on um, on the new tools that we've bought. We've had this for a little bit, doing our own thing, and we thought we've it was about it time that we spilled some beans on it. It's yep. um, it's probably uh, out of I'd say all of the tools we've ever bought for tuning slash anything. Uh, yep. This is this has helped a lot. In, has, and yeah. you're not guessing. One thing the drag cars have taught us is data is king. Um, yep. So not having data when you're doing day-to-day -day cars is uh, pretty silly, let's be honest. It is. More to do with fuel burnt versus crank degree. Yep, fuel um, used. Fuel used. All, all sorts of stuff comes into this. This software is, um, is pretty smart. Another plane queue. that guy, I swear he just does look oh, chased. He fucking knows we're filming. He knows how to fly, look. he just doesn't know how to land. Can roll, roll how many planes have flown Yeah, we should do an edit at the end of it. Q plane, it's like they know. <laughs> so, getting back to what we're saying, um, data is king. Yep. We've acquired a lot of data over the years and we've broken a heck of a lot of parts on our own vehicles. Um, yep. On it. We found the top. Up. Then we strengthen it, we found the top again. And we just kept going. This is sort of joining all of our knowledge on what we have learned and putting it into itemized areas so we can go, well, that's how far we take that particular well, it's part. It's usable data. Yeah. You know, data's great, but usable data's better. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so basically, yeah, it's, it's a combustion analyzer. So it'll basically tell us everything that's happening in the pod. Um, All the little black secrets of what, you know, because the dyno reads the after effect. That's of it. exactly the right. The AFR yeah. is an after effect as well too. Um, this literally tells you all the black magic that happens on the inside of the motor. So, which is pretty cool. I'd have to say the leaps and bounds we've made uh, on some of our bigger builds. And then I would say, the difference between combustion pressure between a stage one kit and a stage three or a 300 kit is mind blowing. So it's, so it's, let's not, it's not what you think it'd be. You see how much of a difference it makes to actually put products on your car that- The work. That work, that gives you Basically, air yeah. density in this case and correct fuel burn. So um, another thing that it does- The other side of it too, as I might add, these are both our products. So we're not comparing um, inefficient products. These are two kits that we've worked on for a long time to get them efficient. So um, I believe the difference between some of the other products on the market that aren't as efficient, um, the difference would be drastic. So, so basically we've got two runs here. Um, they are two separate cars. This is not testing on back-to-back -back vehicles. No. Uh, it's pretty hard to do a back-to-back -back on a 300 kit versus stage one. It'd be like two months in between <laughs> switching them over. No. Um, so basically you got red, now, if you were to look at these two uh, vehicles here, you would see the red and the green and you would, you would probably tell yourself that there's more combustion pressure um, in the green run, which would equal more power. Not the case at all. Um, is. This is a 300 kit versus stage one VNT. Um, and as you can see, it is a hell of a lot more efficient. We're making 330 kilowatts at a maximum of, what bar are we at? 190 and a maximum of, 235 odd. Yeah. So a fair bit of difference when you're talking bar. Um, this area here is your pre-pulse, if yep. people are interested in that. Um, that gets turned off around 3000 RPM and that's where these lines start to come yep. in. Uh, typically, you would like to see the pre-pulse meet the main and have a nice curve so you get a really nice burn. Yeah, if you, you were to compare that. this to a bog stock vehicle, the gap between the pre-pulse and the main is huge. Actually, I'll show you. It's big. Um, but also, before you change that, before you, before you change it, mm -hmm. as you can see, um, even with the Stage 1 Turbo not making as much as the, uh, the 300 kit, you can typically start to see in it as well, 
you're not peaking off and dropping your pressure after it's happening because it EMPs with a VNT compared to the, the bigger well, gated. Huge, Everything yeah. comes into it and it changes the slope and the runoff. Well, you can see the EMPs. This is the backside of the of the compression. Yep. And you can see the EMPs are clearly higher on a VNT the whole than way. they are on a gated. That's exactly right. So um, I suppose the long answered question, because everyone was always like 300 kit, is it reliable? Is my car going to last long? The answer to that is yes. yes. So on the front side of Top Dead Center here, you can see the VNT does have more pressure, understandably. It's a VNT. This is a stage one versus a very big 300 kit turbo. Um, so yes, you're going to make more torque in this particular area here. Yes, but horses for courses. Um, but yeah, on the backside, where it matters from here and onwards, um, huge difference. Huge difference. Um, another thing that I'll show you that's pretty cool to this software, it does an equation of volume in the cylinder versus um, fuel burn off of um, peak cylinder pressures. This blue line here is fuel burn. You want to aim for a percentage of fuel burn at a particular crank degree. Yes. Um, anything beyond that is actually wasted. It's burning too late. Yeah, it's too late. Yeah. You're, you're burning fuel that you're not actually getting power from. So. We try to move that forward, but you have to be pretty careful how far you move it forward and when you bring your fueling in. I think this has a lot to do or... to explain this the easier way. Um, someone's running a standard set of injectors instead of upgrade injectors, yep. and it's running 16 to ones, and you make so much less power than someone yep. running 16 to ones on yep. with plus 30 injectors. This is why, basically, you ain't burning the fuel, and that's why it's rich out the exhaust. So there's your pre-pulse there. Yep. And as I run through the RPM, um, the you can actually changes. see yep. the pre-pulse fade out and disappear and you get the main pulse um, kick into gear and do what it's do meant its to do. Do its thing, that's exactly right. Um, so, yeah, and then you can see the fuel burnt down the bottom. Um, now this obviously changes, this fuel R changes with how much fuel you've actually got going into the cylinder because it's reading that. Um, yep. You can tell um, fuel and pressure obviously increasing in minute increments and we can see a difference um, in something that's doing what it should be doing and it is efficient we can see a difference of nearly 20 bar which is quite a lot mm -hmm. one bars you know 14 and a half psi so that's a lot uncovering the truth nah that was good eh yeah, you think we can use that put that back on oh i don't really want to show them that mate Okay, right <laughs> um, we're happy to do combustion analysis on anybody's car. You know, it doesn't have to be tuned here. Yeah, right. You can have all kinds of upgrades. You can be having issues with fuel economy or even just That's making right. power. Or even just wanting to know what it's doing. If, and obviously we don't, we're not interested in just doing every bog stock car. Uh, they have no. to be high horsepower cars. We're just interested in seeing all the different data at the moment and getting as much as we can. Um, so we can start, obviously we know Frank's up here and we know a bog stock one's down here. We would like to see the in-between and the differences between V&T versus yep. gated, different brand of injectors. Um, different brands of turbos. That's right. Um, different brands Everything of comes intercoolers, into it. all of it. All yep. of it comes into it to give you this profile that you see, this combustion profile. And the more of them that we get, um, the more secrets we can unlock yep. and uh, make products better. That's it. But anyway, yeah, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and uh, drop us in the comments what you would like us to see analyze with the tooling. Um, and yeah, we'll have a look at it. We'll do a video on it and we'll... Um, we'll keep these videos coming out. Yeah.